IFTT pin is a pin entry method leveraging the self-calibration paradigm. We start from the pin entry interface on the left with a standard interface where buttons are well labeled by color. IFTT pin is the self-calibration version of this interface. And that allows for each button to be defined on the fly by the user according to their preference. This means that user 1, 2 and 3 can use the interface differently without any procedure to personalize the interface explicitly. The interface is split in three. On top is a four-digit code. In the middle are all the digits colored in either gray or yellow. And the machine is asking you what color is the digit you want to type. If you want to type a 2, your color is yellow and you indicate that by clicking the yellow button. To identify your digit, we simply can cross the information. If you click a yellow button, we can say that all the yellow digits are possible digits you want to type. If we repeat that process a few steps, we can narrow down by changing the color assigned to a digit to identify the unique digit that you are trying to type. As a demo, we uh, made an online a demo that is accessible at the link below and linked in the paper. To demonstrate to you, we want to type, for example, a 2. And in that case, I would click on the yellow button, then on the gray button, then on the yellow button again. And after, in that case, three clicks, we were able to type the digit 2. With the FTT pin, we ask about the assignment of color to each button. With two buttons, it could have been yellow-gray, or gray yellow. The designer of the interface made a choice and the user was forced to use the interface that way. Yellow gray and not gray yellow. But enforcing that choice might not always be preferable. If there were nine buttons, one user might want to assign color in that way and a second in another way. With IFTT pin we ask could a user start using the interface the way they prefer without asking them explicitly what their preference is and still figure out what they want to do? In other words, could the color pattern be defined and learned on the fly? IFTT pin solves that problem. To illustrate the process, we made all buttons dark as undefined so the user can start using each button the way they want. Here is a demo of EFTT pin in action, which you can find at the URL below. So as we said, what we have to define is first a digit we want to type. For this demo, we'll type two and a color pattern that we want to use on the buttons. And that's entirely up to you. For this demo, I'm going to use this pattern and type a two. So I look at two, two is gray, I click on a gray button. Two is gray again, I click on another gray button. Two is yellow, I click on a yellow button. Yellow, I'm gonna reuse the same yellow button. Two is yellow, I'm gonna use again that yellow button. And after a few clicks, the machine identified both that I was trying to type a two, and that for the button I clicked, managed to understand what was the color I assigned to them. This is another um, digit, we want to type 8 and we're going to use this color pattern. So we're going to look at 8 and I'm going to do yellow, yellow, gray, 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 yellow, gray. And I use only those four buttons differently than the one I used last time and I typed a different number. So the machine was effectively able to understand two different users trying to do two different things using the code pad in two different ways. As a challenge, we created a vault that contained an Easter egg and that can only be opened with the EFTT pin code pad. We released a video of us typing the code on the interface by hiding the code and the color attached to it button, which resides only in our mind. You can watch this video at this link, as described also on the paper. And at this other link, you can test yourself to see if you understood how IFTT pin works. Thank you. All the demos are available on this URL.